In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a keyboard shortcut that will either shut down your computer, restart your computer, sign you out of Windows, or put your computer into Hibernate. You can choose what you'd like the keyboard shortcut to do. So the first thing you need to do is right click on your desktop. You now need to go to New, then Shortcut. You now need to go ahead and type in Shutdown, Space, Forward Slash, and you now need to choose what you'd like the keyboard shortcut to do. So if you want it to shut down your computer, you need to do S. If you want it to restart, you need to do R, sign out of Windows L, and to hibernate H. I'm going to go ahead and do R for restart. You now need to go ahead and do space, forward slash T, space, zero. And what that will do is basically not give you a notification telling you that your computer is about to restart, shut down, or hibernate, or sign you out of Windows. We now need to go ahead and press next. And you now need to give the shortcut a name. I'm just going to call it restart PC. And then we need to go finish. So we now have this shortcut. You now need to right click on the shortcut and go properties. And you now need to go ahead and click in this box here next to shortcut key and this is on the shortcut tab, you can now go ahead and choose what you'd like the shortcut key to be on your keyboard. So I could go ahead and do control shift and let's go with L. And if I go ahead and press apply and okay, if I now hold down control shift and L, it will restart my computer. So that is how easy it is to add a keyboard shortcut to do the power command of your choice. You do, however, need to keep this shortcut so you can either keep it on your desktop or put it into your documents folder or pictures folder or somewhere else on your computer. Also, if you do the keyboard shortcut when you're within a game or an application, it will do the power command as well. So just be very careful not to press the keyboard shortcut by accident when you've got other programs and stuff open. So that is it. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, Hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.